Hello all, welcome back to Current Affairs Atlas series. I'm Gunnar Madhivanan from Offices IAS Academy. Friends, I'm coming up with an exclusive Current Affairs program targeting 2024 prelims as well as mains. Classes starts from 21st October. So you can go through the information given here. If you are interested, you can call to the number given here. Right. Today's topic, this is regarding DNA versus gene. This difference you have to understand so that my next topic will also be very easy for you to relate. You always get confused between these two terms. I will give you clarity purely from our exam point of view. I will not go into the serious details aspects of DNA and gene from exam point of view. How much is required that I will give you an idea. Right. See, every living thing will be having a cell. Our body has a cell. Plants has a cell. Animal has a cell. The basic functional unit of our life is cell. Right. So if you break my body, you will ultimately find a cell. Group of cells will form tissue. Group of tissues form organs. Group of organs will make our body. So the functional unit of our body is a cell. It can be plants. Plants has plants. Cell, animal has animal cell. Even bacteria has cells. Now this each cell will have a nucleus. If this is going to be a cell, I will be having a nucleus. Inside nucleus, we will be having chromosomes. If we take humans, we have 23 pairs of chromosomes. 23 pairs of chromosomes, that means 46 chromosomes. These chromosomes are nothing but compressed, condensed DNA. These are nothing but compressed, condensed DNA. What is this DNA? This DNA contains all the information related to our life. It is the blueprint of our life. If you want to understand a species, any species, let's say suddenly a new virus uh, outbreak is witnessed, new virus, it's a coronavirus. When there was a coronavirus outbreak, to understand the coronavirus, we took the genetic material that is the DNA or RNA. Corona is made up of RNA. Okay. We took that and we were trying to understand its genetic material. Anything, any species. Right. So we are coming up with, see, lot of species inside the oceans. Uh, it is still undiscovered. So assume that you are uh, finding a new species and uh, you want to know about that species then you should study the DNA. So DNA, I'm not going into the chemical specifics of DNA. DNA is made up of nucleotide. Nucleotide is nothing but a combination of phosphate, sugar and nitrogen bases. That much technicality is not required. Just understand that DNA has a set of information, blueprint regarding your life. So if you want to understand humans, read the DNA of humans. The DNA of humans, almost everyone's DNA will be similar. My DNA and your DNA will be 99.99% similar. Only 0.09.009 percentage makes all the difference. You take Bill Gates DNA, you compare with Gunas DNA, 99% similar. 99.9 I would say. Right? You take chimpanzees, chimpanzees DNA. And you compare that with humans DNA, almost 98% will be similar. The small difference brings so much of variety, so much of diversity. Right? So the DNA is nothing but that blueprint, that set of code, that information. Right? So the moment when you think about DNA, you get this spiral structure. The structure is encoded with information. Every, every strand, every stretch is having information. The information is arranged in a particular fashion. Right? I'll give you an interesting fact. Every cell, human cell has 43, 23 pairs of chromosomes and 46 chromosomes. 23 pairs and 46 chromosomes. So 46 chromosomes are nothing but 46 DNA strands. 46 DNA strands. Right? This is one DNA strand. Okay? Like that, 
from one cell you will take you will get be fading 46 dna strands now all the dna from one cell you are taking 46 all the 46 you tie back to back to back say for example for example this is one one dna strand right i am tying i am tying another dna strand here then i am tying another dna strand here so back to back to back i am tying all the dna strands from one cell itself you will get 46 from all the cells in our body we have millions of cells from all the cell i will take the dna alone i will tie it back to back to back and if you measure the length if you measure the length of the entire dna sequence if you measure the length of the entire dna sequence that length will be bigger than the diameter of our solar system yes you heard it right you have sun you have uh, mercury venus earth all the eight planets what is the length the diameter of the solar system our dna strands in sequence back to back to back if you tie and if you measure the length that the length will be bigger than the diameter of our solar system you are not a single person you are a universe in itself right we underestimate the power of humans we have that much information we have that much energy strength within ourselves right coming back to our topic so this dna strand okay this this is dna which has information right but not all the information is going to be useful there are certain there are certain segments of dna there are certain segments of dna which has the most crucial information imagine dna as a book not every page is important there are certain selective pages which is very important so dna it has it is nothing but a set of information but there are certain segments of dna that segments of DNA has the most important information. Such segments of DNA is called as gene. Right? So gene is a segment of DNA which has the most important information. This is the basic difference between genes as well as DNA. Now why we are discussing about this? We have to understand what is this genetic modification. Genetic modification. So, genetic modification is a process where what we will do? We will either remove this gene. Just imagine, I am, I am, I am removing this gene. I am sorry. So, this particular part, this particular part alone, imagine I am removing it. And I am attaching it with a, a new gene. I am removing this and I am attaching it with a new gene. That is called as modification. This important segments, either I will remove it. That important segments, either I will remove it or I will add something new. See, have you seen this Jurassic Park movie? In the first part, in the first part of Jurassic Park movie. See how they were building up the dinosaurs. So in the Jurassic Park movie, um, uh, in the first part, so one mosquito, old, the, one older mosquito sample, we were able to you know get it. From that mosquito, we were able to extract the blood. From that blood, we were able to notice presence of the dinosaur's DNA. So from that mosquito's blood, the mosquito millions of years ago, it would have bitten a dinosaur. That mosquito somehow got preserved. During archaeological excavation, that mosquito that, that was, you know, uh, that came up. So the, from that mosquito, blood was extracted. And from that blood, we got the DNA of the dinosaur. So from that DNA only, we were able to develop the dinosaur. But even in that movie, they were highlighting the problem. The mosquito's blood that was containing dinosaur's DNA, which was very old, it was damaged. So it's assumed that this was the dinosaur's DNA. It was damaged. There was some gaps. The DNA was having some gaps. So we need to fill this gap. We need to fill this gap. So for filling this gap, they took the DNA of some special kind of frogs. So frog is a different species. The frog will also have its own DNA. Certain segments of frog's DNA was used 
to build that entire dinosaur in that movie Jurassic Park Part One. Everything would have been explained in animation. If you get a chance, watch that first part once again, right? For more clarity, this is genetic modification. So why do we do this modification to achieve an intended purpose? See, either to add more strength or to remove certain issues, a particular species which is facing an issue. So if we do some course correction, if we change the DNA, I mean genes, if we do some modification in the genes, we can either add strength to the species, right? Or the existing gene is causing some problem. We see genetic diseases. Some, some people are affected because of genetic diseases. Some species are affected because of genetic issues. So if you are able to do some genetic modification, which is nothing but what? Cutting and pasting. Where is the problem? Remove that particular DNA and add some I mean, particular gene and add some new gene, modified gene. Sir, how to cut and how to add, sir? We have technologies. We have something called as CRISPR. We'll discuss about CRISPR later. So CRISPR is a molecular scissor. CRISPR is a technology which is referred as a molecular scissor. <coughs> UPSC in prelims, two times questions were asked about CRISPR. CRISPR is a molecular scissor. That much if you know, you would have answered that question. So using CRISPR technology, we can cut segments of DNA. That is, we can cut the genes and we can stitch new genes. And this modification is very useful for achieving some objectives, adding strength, removing weakness. By doing this modification, we can make, you know, we can add more power, more strength to the plants which can withstand the climate change, which can withstand the stress. So many advantages. But this modification also comes up with some challenges. All those things we will discuss in our next topic where I will be explaining about what is this BT cotton? What is this BT brinjal? What is BT mustard? What is this BT? Everything we will discuss in detail. So please watch my next video as well. I hope the video was useful. See you tomorrow with uh, the interesting topic. Till then, bye. Take care.